G'day guys, and welcome to that episode of Team Mad Model Fishing Adventures. Well, tomorrow hopefully will be our first episode of uh, offshore fishing, and hopefully many more to come. Tomorrow our plan is to uh, head out, out through the South Passage Bar, and shoot out to the 33s, maybe the 35s. Um, we're going to do a bit of bottom bashing and float lining. I'll get into what those two uh, rigs are very soon. Um, reels and combos. Totally up to what you feel comfortable fishing with. Very conventional spin gear, or you've also got your overheads. First combo on rig I'm going to show you. This one in particular is a TLD 25 two speed. Look, you don't have to uh, go the fancy two speed, single speed will do. Uh, this particular reel is built with 30 pound. It comes down to a, a uh, Team Mad Mullet size, uh, it's a 75 kilo swivel, and that is joined onto 40 pound Black Magic leader. Going to the bottom of the rig first, we have a loop knot. A loop knot's fairly simply, so you can change your sinkers very quick. Simply just put your loop through your sinker, around, and you're done. Sinker size will definitely vary depending on how fast you drift. A bit smaller, larger, and believe me, they do come a lot bigger than this. We'll move up to the hook. So approximately 50 centimeters from the sinker is my first hook. I'm running a luminescent bead with a Team Mad Mullet 6.0 hook. Another meter up from that is my second hook. Once again, another luminescent bead and a Team Mad Mullet 6.0 circle hook. The bait, well, you can put a half pilly, squid, nice big flesh baits, whatever you'd like on, on this particular rig. That last rig we showed you was called the Panonosta rig or bottom bashing rig. And now to move on to the float line rig, which I'll be mainly using tomorrow, mainly because I like to uh, be away from the boat a bit and uh, look a bit more natural down in the water column. Uh, but in saying that, that also depends on what sort of um, current there is out there as well, or I should say drift speed. This particular reel is the TLD 32 speed, brilliant reel. Uh, it's built with 50 pound mono. A little bit overkill on the sinker wise on this one, but this is purely because if we have to go wider, I don't want to have that have to sit there rigging up another rig. This one's already ready to go. This one's actually a, a, a 10 ball. It's quite a lumpy ball. And why have I got a luminescent bead here? It's mainly for that sinker to take the pressure off, banging on that knot all the time. Now could you imagine that sinker thumping against that knot all the time? It will weaken it. And you definitely don't want that breaking in a critical part of the fight. These are two Team Mad Mart 6 circle hooks once again. Uh, you can put a whole pilly on that one, whole squid, nice big uh, uh, cut bait, or a livey. One on the back, one through the nose. I'll move on to the next rig I will be using and this is uh, the main one I'll be using throughout the day and this one has got a lot smaller sinker on it and it's a little bit different rig setup as well. The particular outfit is a, uh, a bait runner, bait runner feature right there. Great reels for uh, float lining. You can um, cast your bait out 10 9 meters behind the boat. Put your uh, rod in the rod holder. Let the uh, leave the bail arm open, and let that line slowly spool off for a couple of minutes. Once you 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 think you're in about the right distance, you want off. Flick the bail arm over. Click your bait runner feed in. As you can see, nice loose drag there. When a fish picks that up, it can take line with ease, not feel any pressure, 
all you simply have to do is either flick that lever back or pick the rod out of the rod holder and wind it engages that and you're back onto normal drag that one there in particular is filled with 50 pound down to 50 pound litre a lot smaller sinker so this will be sitting in the first quarter of the water column maybe down to half this is mainly for your bigger predatory fish that don't mind to come up in the water column and uh, feed up higher it comes down to luminescent tubing why luminescent tubing well one once again to keep that uh, sinker from hitting the knot and to keep that sinker just a little bit further away from the bait and maybe a bit more of attractance as well now that does glow underwater also and once again two team mad mullet circle hooks six o's snelled together Bait preference tomorrow, we're only going out with squid and pilchards. We're not going to worry about live baits tomorrow, we're going to leave that for another episode. Plan is, get up at 3 o'clock in the morning, head down to Raybo Boat Ramp, get to the bar, South Passage Bar, just on light so we can have a glance to see how the, uh, the sets are forming. Head out, get to the 33s. And hopefully get into some nice fish. Alright guys, I'm going to hit the sack. I'll catch you guys in the morning on the water. Well today, we're heading on the uh, strutting to the 33s and 35s. And hopefully pick yourselves up some snapper and some pearl perch. Now, uh, first time out here, so I'm fishing pretty blind. So see if we can get on some good fish. Stay tuned. Yeah, it looks legal. Oh, I reckon that's a pearly. Yep, pearly. Ah, you know. Sweet. Huh? Bit of fairly hard morning out here. Just trying to find the white weights. To uh, counter our uh, drift color. What have we got? We've got uh, a little swivel from Sunday. Oh no, beautiful. So that's what we want. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful.
Hi right, guys, well, it was a tough morning out there. Um, it's been about five hours to uh, get what we got, but at the end of the day, at least we got a, a feed of fish. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Team Matamata Fishing Adventures. Until next time, cheers and good luck.